Right, well morning guys. Just thought I'd bring you a quick update video. You probably noticed that I haven't done a video for a uh, couple of weeks now. That's because I've been in Tunisia on my holidays. So, beautiful and sunny there. And if you look out on my YouTube channel, you'll see a review of the hotel we stayed at and uh, a little tour of the countryside and that. So, before we went away, I managed to uh, do quite a bit of work to the boat. Let's have a look what I did. I managed to get all the flaking paint off. So what you can see now, oh, he says that. Let's see, he's spotted a little bit there. So it's a beautiful sunny morning here. Um, nice spring morning, bank holiday Monday. And that's the sort of thing people do on bank holiday Mondays. They fix up boats, do some DIY, mow the garden, right, do a bit of gardening, all that type stuff. So you can see what I've done so far here. And I'll just show you, so I've got all the flaking paint off now. Uh, with my scraper and the wire wire brush and that you could see it's all pretty sound there there pretty sound and I'll just uh, go up the steps here and take you inside so you can see what it looks like inside excuse any shadows on this but it is early in the morning I've got the hatches oh there's all the cherry blossom you can see I've got the hatches up here just drying out so all the flaking paints off there all the flaky paints off the hatches now. That's just a bit of blossom, that is. There you go, you can see down in there. And uh, you can see across the top sides here, all the flaky paint's gone. That's just the pole I use to uh, keep the tarpaulin up in the air, that is. There you go. All the flaky paint's off there. And then if we look down inside the cabin here, just get down inside the cabin area you can see that that's all the flaky paints off there all stripped right back in places there certainly in the roof here where there's great big patches of flakiness and uh, down there and what you can see on the floor here don't be worried about these bits on the floor here this is just them um, that's just the, um, now the bilge is all dry and everything, that's just the bits of, you can see all the bits of flaky paint that came off there. I haven't hoovered this up yet because um, what I need to do is when I'm sanding now, I need to hoover it up once and for all then. So the next thing to do, there we go, next thing to do inside here is look at the roof up there and everything next thing to do inside here and on the whole boat is to sand it down that's the next there's two laborious tasks well three I'd say one is cleaning it all then sand, then getting all the paint all the flakiness off and making it a bit sound and then they're sanding it all down and what we're, what I'm gonna do today and I'm not gonna bore you with a video of me actually doing it is I'm gonna get in here today with some sandpaper and just a good old-fashioned black and decker sander that yeah, anybody's got at home. I'm going to give it a good sanding off all the way across, all the way inside the floor bit there. I'm just going to rough it up. I'm not going to. I'm not sanding this smooth. I'm just going to um, just sand it so it will take a decent coat of paint effectively. Um, I'm going to do the inside first, and then I'm going to get round the outside with my sander sand it all off and the hull here all these bits here um, I'm not going to bother filling any of these bits here in there's all little bubbles on it there I'm just going to get across this with my sander to smooth it all off so that it'll actually take a coat of paint there we go and when it can, when I've got it to a stage where it'll take a coat of paint and under here I mean there's hardly anything you can actually do to this here this is all the most ready for taking some paint anyway because I've jet washed it it's going to be under the water anyway I don't think I'll actually do anything to that um, once it's ready for taking a coat of paint then with the shine off it I shall uh, put some primer on it ready to start going so right I'll give you an update when I've sanded it all down this is going to take well it took me about four or five hours in total to get the um, get all the flaky paint off the inside and outside I've got decent tarpaulin cover on it now and you can see it's actually you know I think it's starting to look 
a bit better than it did because everywhere's actually dry on it you know which is a miracle to start off with so once I've done that I'll give you an update I'll show you it all smooth down and then the next thing is me and my lad will be getting some primer on it right, well welcome back let's have a little close up here you can see that I've sanded off give it all a really good sand down the side here you know it's took about uh, let's have a look hour and a half two hours at the most to do this and uh, you can see I've done all the top all the front all around there all the hull and everything it's all finished right pretty much ready to go so the next job I'm gonna do is I need to put a bit of sealer on and you can see in these gaps here some of the sealers come away in here as well some of the sealants come away all along these gaps here so what I'm going to do is in the garage again you know least expense possible in the garage I've got some from screw fix no nonsense exterior frame sealant in white permanently flexible paintable weather resistant so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run like you would in your house I'm going to run a bead of frame sealant round just down the frame here like that just down there like that watch me go and make a mess of this now there you go I'm just going to run that down there I know the guy the professionals do this all in one go but I'm just a bloke so I'm not as professional as them let's just stop there and then I'll show you what you do once we get that there just get a finger on it there smooth it into the gap like that I'm putting a bit of pressure on this because I want it to actually stick into the wood there we go all the way along like that in one go wipe my finger off and I'll just give it one more go over a bit less pressure this time just to fill in where there's one or two of them air gaps have appeared there just to fill in them okay that's that bit and I'll do one bit on the bottom here so that you can see the full effect when it's actually done And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think some of the water that's coming inside I think is caused because there isn't a very good seal between the uh, top sides here which is this bit here and the hull so I reckon some of the water is sneaking down when you're sailing the water's coming up and splashing on these bits here and I think some of the water inside is sneaking down in through there. I know it'll come through these, but I reckon it's coming down some of these joints. So that's why I'm doing that. Smooth that top bit out there a little bit. That bit. And just smoothing down on that bit there as well. Okay. Trying to make a nice neat joint. There we go, and if you just stare, uh, if we just stand back now and look at that, <coughs> you can see that's fair. The cameraman's just fell over the mass bit. <laughs> he hasn't long got up. You see, he has to spend, he has to spend all night. He's got to spend all night killing people on his, on his D DS or whatever it is, his Xbox. Right. So you can see that's quite smooth there quite nice and that will take a coat of paint quite happily be dry in an hour or so and uh, I'm going to do that all the way around the outside across the tops there and in these sides and when I've actually done that I'll show you what it looks like I'm going to do the bits at the back here as well I see around them boxes and everything just stop the water coming in when I've done that I'll show you what it looks like I finished sanding outside I haven't sanded inside or in the cockpit area there because what I want to do is I want to give this a chance to dry you see and if this does dry later on today what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some primer on some of these bare wood areas and let it dry out over the afternoon so like I said um, we're just going to sand all this down we just need to get the shine off the hull here that's really um, smooth 
we just need to get the shine off this and we can get some paint on it and round here where it's a bit rougher needs sanding down so what am I using I'm using a normal sander just a, a sander from b and so I've got a couple of years ago uh, I think it was 19.99 and now I know I can use a random orbital sander you know one of them round ones but I don't have one and this boat isn't worth the expense of 50 or 60 quid to buy one so this is going to be perfectly alright dust mask again because um, I don't know where this paint's come from or how long it's been on dust mask is a good thing to wear and then what I'm doing is the uh, I've got a bit of old sandpaper here that's come off a belt sander which is what I'm using to get in the corners and when these sheets I mean you get through a fair few of these but I bought them off the internet so they weren't expensive when these sheets are no good I just fold them up like that and you can get into the corners with them as well so oh and I should say the camera lady today is the good lady wife Cheryl because the camera man is still in bed because it's only nine in the morning and the camera man can't get up until midday when he's finished killing people on cod ops at two in the morning you see right let me show you what I do here then so with the sandpaper generally on the flat areas here it's easy to sand down using that and I'll show you in a second but here you can see where it's quite rough I'm just getting in there and all around the corners and places where it's quite hard to do and just getting in there with my hand there you go and uh, just that piece of old rolled up belt sanding bit and you can see around there it makes a reasonable job of it to be honest there. and all in there and then once I've done that I just finish off with a little bit of the rolled up stuff from the bottom of the uh, sander if you have a close up I mean you can't see it but believe me it feels quite smooth there there you go and that's that bit and I'll do that in all these bits that are hard to get to here I won't quite get the sander into I can just use the sand paper in there finish off with a bit of the smooth stuff there you go and to be honest that'll take some time and there that will remember we're only doing this a renovation not a restoration and then I'll show you what I'm doing along the sides here I won't put the mask on so I don't sound weird and there let me just stand on this side now Oh no, I can't, it's in the shadow. You can see I've already done a little bit here. I'll show you what I do with this. timber here look we've got nice smooth timber here we've took the shine took the shine off this that's all we need to do and then should we need to we can just get down in this little groove here with a little bit of sandpaper there and similarly here you know if we want to we can just get in there with the sandpaper right so you can see it's come out quite smooth there look you know that that there is perfectly easy going to take a coat of primer take a coat of paint um, it's you know it's not going to be mirror light but it ain't going to be bad that to be honest and then I can finish off with this bit of sandpaper there just gonna sneak down into this groove with that bit of sandpaper okay same old view again eh right fast forward ourselves seven and a half hours from where I started this morning I now look a little bit like look 
that's what I look like now. I look a tiny bit like the Home Pride Flower Man. But a uh, good job that I actually had the dust mask on there. And seven and a half hours on. And I think we're pretty much done with the sanding. You can see there, I'll just take you for a little uh, walk around the hull here. Okay, you can see I've done the hull right down there. The anti-fouling on the bottom, well, the blue bit there. That's already been jet washed and doesn't really need any more sanding, to be honest with you, because it's quite rough. Yeah, anti-fouling is the name that um, boaters use for the stuff that you put on the bottom of a boat. Effectively, it's a paint that's got a few chemicals in it that stops uh, marine life wanting to live on the bottom of your boat. So, stops a build-up of barnacles and seaweed and all sorts of stuff like that. I'm not going to put anti-fouling on this because it's only going to go in the fresh water. So, anyway, walking down the side here, you can see uh, where I said I'd fill this, uh, I filled the windows with the, the exterior seam sealant. Done these joints here, that joint there, one at the top, and I've done down there. So if you look down the side there, you can see sort of like one, two, three, four fresh lines there, and you can see the fresh lines around each one of the windows there. This rail on the side here, which they uh, called the rubbing strake, which just rubs against the side of a, a dock or something like that, if you come into a dock, or, you know, a, a jetty or something. Um, that's all been rubbed down. I'll just walk you around the outside here now. Try not to get the sun in your eyes. You can see the back's all rubbed down there. Oh, it's a bit dappled down here, isn't it? Make your eyes go funny. And you can see it's all done down there. And let me just hop up on the ladder. Just give you a long shot from there. Over. Let me just hop up on the ladder. I haven't got my cameraman. My cameraman has gone canoeing with his mate in the river. So, he isn't actually, to be honest, considering he's my cameraman and supposed to be my helper, he hasn't exactly done a lot towards this apart from taking the odd shot for me. So you can see across the top there, all rubbed down, sanded down, a little bit patchy um, from the previous primer and undercoat on there, but still good. You can see I've done the uh, all these doors here now rubbed down. All that's rubbed down there, down the outside there. And you remember when we looked inside here, it was all dirty and filthy, and we got most of the water out. Now, if you remember, do you remember once upon a time this here? You can see down there, tiny little all oh, the lens caps there. The um, tiny bit of water's just come out the pipe there. But can you see, once upon a time, that was just all totally full of debris, that was. And now, you can see, it's all sanded down. All sanded down in here as well. I know it looks fairly rough, but that's uh, because it needs some primer on it yet. But all in here is all sanded down, all hoovered up. Um, all the bits away. Look, you can see it's all tidy in there now. All the bits are away, all the dirt's away in the hoover. I don't know if I said this before, but what you should always do is, if you get, if you get rid of a hoover or your wife gets rid of a hoover, always keep it and use it in your garage. I use it on mine all the while and um, I'm eyeing up a hoover that she's got in the house at the moment, ready to put into my garage next. So I might convince her that's been knackered shortly and I'll pinch it for myself. So there you go, next thing we've got to do is we're going to get in here with some primer and we're going to prime the inside of this and we're going to prime the outside as well. Why haven't I done it now? Well, if you have a look, there's one or two little patches here. There's one, for instance, where the paint's come off and the varnish has come off and you can see that's a tiny bit dark and that's just a little bit damp under that bit of varnish where the water's gathered in the bilge. You can see other places like that bit there, that's quite dry, but... Uh, and all them bits there are quite dry, but you can see where the anti-fouling has come up there, uh, sorry, where the um, bilge paints come off there. And if we look on this side again here, you can see a couple of bits there that aren't quite dry either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this now for a um, few days, maybe even a week, and do it next weekend. We've got a forecast of glorious weather this week, so I'm gonna leave the cover off it for a few days, um, take it off in the morning, put it back on at night and let this dry out 
uh, a little bit more than it is in just them few places before I get some paint on it. And, uh, and then I shall get some primer and undercoat on it and uh, you'll start to see a real difference then. There's another little patch there just at the back there where the bilge pump was that uh, you can just see a few little dark patches there and I really want that to just dry out properly before I go and put some paint on the top. So you can see underneath all these covers there there's another little damp patch there that needs drying out. It's all solid, it's just a tiny bit damp. Once that's done I'm going to get in here with the uh, with the hoover again inside. As that all dries out inside instantly, it'll all become flaky. And as it flakes, as it becomes flaky and drier, it'll hoover off dead easy. Um, hoover and a bit of wire brush, and that'll all come off fairly easy. And uh, jobs are good and we should be laughing. Look at all that, that's, I mean, that there is absolutely, that is bone dry, beautiful, and just, you're asking to receive some paint, but, the temptation is to get some paint on it, but you know it's what <laughs> ten past four now, and it just ain't going to dry. I would, lo I would love, I would just, I'm bursting inside to get some paint and primer on that, but I can't. So, right. So now we've got it. What have we done so far then? So so far, I'm having to do this myself. You see, so far we've got it. We've cleaned it. We've uh, jet washed it. We've been along it with the scraper and scraped everything off. And now we've sanded it down, and now the, the well, the bit that I think is the fun bit begins, where we start to actually get some paint on it. And we've got to decide what paint we're going to buy this week as well, and I'm going to get some on order this week. The good thing is, with it being bank holiday weekend, I'm going to have a look around the uh, DIY places tonight on the, online, because quite a few of them have some really good paint deals on this time of year. You know, buy one, get one free. Well, you know, if you're buying a great, if you're buying a great big, um, five litre thing of marine paint or you know weather shield or something like that that we're going to use on this that can be 30 pounds you know and if you're getting one of them free well you know you can certainly get a bargain this time of year so the hard work's done what time what's it took us so far well it's took us about an hour and a half to jet wash it and get it all clean and pump and bilge out it took us five hours to scrape all the loose paint off inside and outside and just get it ready um to, for sanding just to get the biggest bulk of the loose stuff off and it's took me seven hours today to sand it down so let's say all told it owes me 15 hours labor now now i'm not going to charge it 15 hours labor obviously but i'm just telling you what sort of if you come to do this yourself what sort of commitment in time we're going to have to give this i think that we've probably got another 15 hours to go on it because we're going to need to paint it in various different stages we're going to need to get the primer on it undercoat top coat etc there's going to be a little bit of rubbing down in between you know and we've and then we've also got a good few hours worth of putting all the bits back on it and of course i've done the mass but i haven't done the boom and the uh, top bit of the rigging either so them two bits need to be done as well so i reckon there's going to be 15 maybe even as much as 20 hours left in this boat yeah but you know easter weekend weather's getting better you know, so we can get, you know, maybe get on the mast one night this week and get on the uh, boom one night this week and get them done, a couple of coats of varnish on them. And uh, we'll see how we go. Right. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, you know, send, uh, got any questions, put them in the comments at the bottom. Um, and if you like it, please like it. Please tell your mates. Um, and you can visit my website at uh, mikekempster2.wordpress.com. Thanks very much.